Hi, Lavishy Natural here, and today we're going to be making homemade bentonite clay wash. So today we're gonna to be making the homemade bentonite clay wash. It is my favorite go-to item. I have been using it for about two years. It is the reason that my hair grew back as quickly and as fully as it did. Um, when I couldn't use anything else in my hair because it was coming out in, in handfuls, I would use the clay and I would leave it on. I'd let it sit for about 45 minutes. Sometimes I would put it on and I would clean or I would do something else for the day and it will detangle, it will moisturize, it will condition, it will heal. This is aloe vera gel. Um, if you don't have aloe vera gel, you can make flaxseed gel or the flaxseed conditioner and that will work as well. I live in a place where the tap water can be um, very drying to our hair, so I try not to use a lot of water when I'm making our products, or I use purified water or distilled water. So I'll start with the aloe vera gel, and I also use a tablespoon of castor oil, castor oil. And what you see in here, that's lavender and roses, I think there's some vanilla in here, there's some comfrey in here. I love, love, love castor oil. This is a pound. I've had this clay for over a year. I bought, I bought it at the end of 2011 and it was $11. Did I say that already? Um, I also use Terra Essentials. I don't have any, I don't have any to show you. Terra Essentials is phenomenal, but I have a lot of hair and I use it on my kids and so I was always running out. And so I still use it if I can't make my own or I don't have any, I will use the Terra Essentials. Um, but if you are interested in making it yourself, you can, it's easy, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Use one tablespoon of castor oil. Add three tablespoons of honey. If you don't have honey, you can also use vegetable glycerin, and I would use one to two tablespoons of that. Extracts are a great way to spice up your mix. I love aloe vera oil. I'm using an eighth of a teaspoon of that in this mix. You can also use any other type of complex that you have, a botanical complex. This one has yarrow leaf and nettle and sage leaf in it, and I'm also using an eighth of a teaspoon of that. When I'm using apple cider vinegar, I use as much vinegar as I've used clay. So if I'm using three tablespoons of clay, I'll use three tablespoons of vinegar. I add about a fourth of a cup of aloe vera gel or any additional liquid to my mix. I don't like the paste consistency. I like to wash it out a lot easier, so I'll make mine a little bit wetter, but you can play with it. Clay will thicken on you, so you can make your mix and let it sit for a few minutes to see if it thickens, um, but play with that if you like. Um, I also add my essential oils at the end. I use a lot of lavender, a lot of citrus oils, um, but you can use one and be just fine. This clay really doesn't need them, but I just love to add them to my mix.